one of our, our favorite, favorite songs and we really, really fell in love with this song um, when we first started playing it, gosh, years ago. It was one of the first old songs that we learned together and it's a song written by Prince William Pitt Lele Ohoku and it's a sad song actually. Um, apparently, the Crown Prince of Hawaii, he's the you know, brother to King Kalakaua, Queen Bibi Kalani, and Princess Miriam Bike Bike. And um, he wrote this song because he was in love with a woman and she didn't return his affection. And I saw pictures of him, you know, he's a good looking guy. And he's a Crown Prince of Hawaii. I'm like, girlfriend, what work would you want? <laughs> So but anyway, I, I don't know. This was this is you know this song is a snapshot in time. Maybe they got together someday. I don't know. I don't know, but maybe they didn't. I, I assume that they did not. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think so. You know. I think not. Yes, I'm thinking not. But he writes this song. Then he would have changed the verses. You know what I mean? You he might keep, have. He might you kind of keep singing that kind of a song after you get together with the person because they kind of shame. Yeah. 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 A little bit shame. So this song, it incorporates Hawaiian, of course. It's written primarily in Hawaiian, but he incorporated because he was a sophisticated guy. You know, educated, uh, you know, had some of the best education in, in Europe, in, in Hawaii, in America. So, so smart, he was Ali. smart, Ali. you know, so smart. <laughs> so he incorporates um, English and Spanish lyrics into this. And they said, you know, at that time, it was really not kind of like show off in a bad way, but it was like, something to kind of set yourself apart from other poets of the time if you could incorporate other languages and incorporate those words correctly not because it just sounded good but you incorporated the words in the right context and in the right usage and then that would make your song that much deeper and that much richer and so this was one of those compositions i think and you know what you guys um what is this our second third time in the area yeah something like that in the santa cruz ish area and this time, we're joined by... Before, last time we brought Elena with us. This time we brought Frank. Yeah. Come on up here, Frankie. So this, Frank. is why, this is why we bring Hula Dancers, you guys, because the song is expressed in a different dimension with the Hula Dancer. And these Hula Dancers we work with, they're fabulous. So Frank did his research on this song. And he said, you know, all the pictures that I saw of the prince, he was dressed very formally. You know, in suits, tuxedos, because, I mean, he was a prince. For those of you guys who don't know, at the time period, these Hawaiians, they were, our ali'i, our, our, um, our royalty, they were, they're really tight with the British. And, and you see them with all of the, the, the things that were fine to the British royalty. They had those fine things. They said they had, I think they had electricity at the Iolani Palace before they had it at the White House. Something like Something that. like that. I mean, these guys were high tech. These guys were up with the times and... So Frankie, he went all out with the costume. Check it out! It's so with tails. I know. Because he said, he said, I did my research and this is what would have been appropriate at the time. And I was like, you go, brother. You just go. So anyway, he's going to share this song off of our first album, a song entitled Adios Kelo. Yeah, 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 oh, oh, oh. 